Yo, you, you know something? You said that um Jay, Jay-Z was he was scared of Tupac. What you mean about that? Um, I don't think, you know, I think um I don't think he was scared of Pac like, you know, like Pac gonna whip his ass or no shit like that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um as far as is is his growth as an artist and 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 doing things, you know, um I think that Jay Z might have just been like, you know, um, shit, you know, that nigga dope. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta get on my shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because it well, it's it gets on, on some competition type shit. You know what I'm saying? Or if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be as good as I am. Or if it wasn't for, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have that 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 soul there, that that competition there to, to even make you better. You know what I'm saying? Because it's rap is a competitive uh, uh, art. It's yeah, one of the yeah. only arts that co- that's competitive like this. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's it's you know it's it's like you, you gotta you gotta you can't hop into the ring thinking that somebody better than you. You so so the, it, it, you gotta look at somebody. Okay, you know I gotta get dope like him or doper than that dude. You know if it wasn't for motherfuckers like Rock him, we wouldn't know how to flow. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have certain motherfuckers in the game like that. So that's what I meant, basically. Got you, got you. Yo, you said something, uh, you know, and and these are two greats where I'm about to go. You was like, yo, I feel like Biggie was better than Jay. <laughs> yeah. You know, that he he should rank above him. That, I mean, you 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 got a point there. You Biggie got a point. is dope, though, man. Biggie's you know dope. <laughs> I mean, you Biggie can't take nothing away though, from Jay. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Big was crazy. Like, come on, man. Big was crazy. And it's unfortunate because we comparing somebody who wasn't even around for, for four years in the game. You know what I'm saying? He had two albums to somebody who got 12 albums. Yeah, yeah. That's an that's a unfair comparison. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, and then, you know, what Jay-Z had... A lot more albums than Biggie. You know what I'm saying? But that's the crazy part about the shit. Like, Biggie only had to drop, what, two albums and the fuckers was like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, it's like some of us, you know, we've been do- doing this shit for years. You know, it's it's, it's certain motherfuckers that, that's, that blew up at 50 and it's certain motherfuckers that blew up at 20. You know what I'm saying? But some of the motherfuckers at 50 had a longer career. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, shit. You never know what's going to happen, man. You know, you just got to keep pushing shit. Yeah, I think it's unfortunate because I'm I'm a huge, I mean, obviously, with my background being, being with Bad Boy for so many years, I'm a huge Biggie fan. You know, it's unfortunate that the, that the world didn't get to see this man's talent and where it yeah. could evolve to, you know. That, that, that guy was he was something different on that microphone. Some of his lyrics to this day, to this day, bar for bar, he's just better than 90% of the artists. I I would go say 95% of the artists out there, bar for bar, they still can't mess with them lyrics on Ready to Die or Life After Death. He just was different. I start start my show off with um, with one of the, one of the, uh, uh, pieces uh, in there uh, it says with with him on my show with Biggie on my show, and it's him saying, you know, um, I listen to Spice One that Trigger got no heart yep, that shit yep. is dope. I start my show off with him saying that, and with you know I got Pac saying uh, Spice One Trigger got no heart. You know the Trigger got no heart. I, I fuck with that, and then I got Biggie saying you know Trigger got no heart, and then I got uh, uh, I think I think it was Vlad saying something about. Uh, me um, strap on the side and then then strap on the side come on on my first song on my show so I mean you know I think they was interviewing short or something but yeah I, I mean shit I had to put that in there I gotta put that out there like you know um, because it seems like they see more of when Biggie had a, uh, 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 he felt some kind of way towards me in 40 because he knew we used to kick it with Pac and him and Pac was beefing when he graded us zero on his on that on his um on a scoreboard. 
everybody seen that, but it's hard for them, but they don't see, but they didn't hear when he said, Spice One is my favorite rapper, one of my favorite rappers, or my favorite rapper from the West Coast. Like, I want them to hear that more than they hear that. I want them to hear the more the positive when he said Spice One is the shit, <laughs> then when he said, you know, when they really rated us zero because he was mad over the, you know, he was feeling some kind of way over the, over the shit that was going on. Um, and I, you know, and because when he said that, you know, that, that, that's the type of shit that keep me going. Yeah, go back in the studio. Nigga Biggie said he listened to Trigger Guys No Heart. Nigga, spit that shit, fool, you know? <laughs> shit. Yeah. You know, you, you said you knew Big's life was going to be taken. Yeah. When he went out there to L.A., you you felt like he underestimated the love that L.A. had for Pac. Um, yeah. Elaborate on that. We, it was that, and he underestimated the love uh, L.A. had for Pac, and um, you know the 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 danger, you know, out 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 here, man. This, you know, just shit. Like, okay, even uh, you know, I I was. Uh, Feeling some kind of way about Biggie because I heard what he said and all of that stuff back then. But I didn't want him to die. You know what I'm saying? Even if I could have talked to him as a, as one of my ops or enemy, I would have said, dude, don't come out here. These niggas is not playing. Like, they not fucking playing. They They, you know. And and I knew that, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I, you know, I would have, I would have said it. Like, dude, don't come out here. So yeah, man, I I knew, you know, because I know I'm I, I'm here. I, I'm a West Coast nigga. I know how we think. And that's why I was like, dude, don't come out here. These niggas is not playing. They hot. They fired up, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give it a year or two. You know what I'm saying? then maybe he would have been alive to even explain that him and Pac squashed that shit before Pac passed. Yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Two, two, two brilliant talents, two amazing talents going too soon. Way yeah. too soon, Just man. way too soon. And it's crazy because as you get older... You look back and they was kids. What was they, 24 and 25? Kids. Like, come on. They was kids. And, and, and to think that they made that much of an impact in that short of a time that they even walked this planet Earth is, I mean, it's a testament to just how talented those two brothers really were. Yeah, and, they was, and it seemed like they was having fun doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? You'll see them kicking it, sitting somewhere, eating, uh, spitting, uh, kicking uh, freestyles and shit just for just for the fuck of it, just chilling. You know what I'm saying? And um, it was crazy because I knew when when Biggie said he listened to Trigger Guys No Heart that Pac told him that shit, like showed him that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I'm like, oh, he been kicking it with Pac because Pac probably showed him all of them all them songs and shit or whatever. Um. So yeah, man. I, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to hang out or meet Biggie before all of that that tragedy happened. Before that shit happened, you know, that would have been cool. You know what I'm saying? Because I I used to come out to New York uh, here and there and, and kick it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's even. I mean, it it, it gotta it gotta feel. You know, you as a fellow artist, it, it gotta feel good to know not only was you on his radar. But he considered you one of the greats from the West Coast. One of the people, like like when he's listening to West Coast music, he was listening to Spice One. So yeah. that shit make you stick and go back to the studio and you know keep going in there because you know you throw enough shit at the wall, something gonna stick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I that's keep real going talk. and recording. 